Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see about box of chocolate question from March Cook of 2020. Okay, the question says, Chef got, Chef just got a box of chocolate as his birthday gift. The box box contains n chocolates in a row where n is even. So the first point is n will be even. For each valid i, the i chocolate has sweetness value w i. So for each valid i, the sweetness value is w i. Okay. So two is a sweetness value of w three. W two is a sweetness value of w one is a sweetness value of two. Fine. Chef wants to eat all the chocolates in the first half of the box and leave all the chocolates in the second half uneaten. So chef wants to eat the first half of the box. Okay. All the chocolates present in the first half. Since he does not like the chocolates that are too sweet. He will be unhappy if at least one of the chocolate he eats has the maximum sweetness among all the chocolates in the box. So the maximum sweetness among all the chocolates in the box is this. Okay. And if the maximum chocolate value is present in the first half of the box, then chef will be unhappy. Okay. This is what the line means. A right cyclic shift by k chocolates where k can be equal to zero, but it will be less than n. Consists of moving the last k chocolates in the row to the beginning in the same order, and moving each of the remaining n minus k chocolates k places to the right. That means it is nothing but the right shift. Okay, we just have to rotate the elements. Okay, k number of elements such that this two, this maximum chocolate value should not be present inside the first half. Such that the maximum chocolate value should not be present inside the first n by two. Elements. Fine. Now, what we need to do is find the number of ways to do this. That means the number of valid integers k such that if the operation is performed, we will not get the maximum chocolate value inside the first half. Okay. What is the meaning? If we just rotate the first element, that is k equals to one, the last element. Fine. So array will become one 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 two one one. So yes, this is valid. Two is gone outside this line of n by two elements. Now in this one, if we rotate two elements from the last, that is k equals to two. That means we will get one 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 two one. Okay. So in this case also it is valid. K equals to two is also valid. If we rotate k equals to three, then we will get this. Okay. This is a separation of n by two. One 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 two. Okay. Then also. We in the first half we are not getting any maximum value. If we rotate k equals to four, now two will come here, so it will become two one one. And in the first half we are getting a maximum value, therefore it is not valid. So in this case the answer is three. For k equals to one, k equals to two, and k equals to three, okay, we are getting the correct answers. That means in the first half there is no maximum chocolate value. In the second case, this is our division of n by two elements. Now, if I rotate k equals to one, this one, we will get the maximum chocolate value that is nothing but two in the first half. So we cannot rotate it. Can we rotate these two? Now, if we rotate these two, that means it will become one, two, and one. Okay, one, two, one. So in this case also, we are getting two in the second half, in the first half. If we rotate these three, then we will get one one two in the beginning and one one two at the end. In this case also, we are getting a two in the first half. So in this particular question, it is not possible. If we rotate these also, that means two one one will be in in our first three elements. Okay, so it is not possible in this particular case. Therefore, the answer is zero. Fine. So let's now build our logic. Let's now take many test cases, and in each and every test case, let's see few points. Okay. Then the logic will be built, and then we can can go to the implementation part. Fine. With the help of these test cases, we will be forming the logic. These are the answers of these test cases. You can pause the video. You can think about these test cases from your own. Okay. Let's see with the help of these test cases, can you solve this particular question? Okay. Now after this, let's move on one by one. Let's see all the test cases and what are the different observations we can make in each of these cases. Fine. This test case we have already seen. Now here n by n is six, so n by two is nothing but three. Fine. So that means in the first uh, n by two elements, we need an element which does not contain the maximum value. We need an element that does not contain the maximum value. The maximum value is nothing but two. Okay. Now, so when whatever we rotate, there should be continuously three elements with us. There should be continuously three elements with us that does not contain the maximum element. Okay, that means there should be a sub array in this particular question uh, that does not contain a maximum element. Okay, because if we rotate this and we all these three elements come in the first part, okay, then we get 
and n by 2 elements that does not contain the maximum element correct also this is rotation so the last element is connected to the first element this also point needs to be taken care of that means this one and this one one is connected okay so if we just rotate this one then also we will get the three elements which does not contain the maximum element two so what we just found out was uh, there should be a sub array that contains the, that does not contain a maximum element okay that does not contain the maximum element and its length its length should be at least n by 2 okay if it is less than n by 2 then this it will not be of any use okay the sub array will not be of any use so let's see the second example with this knowledge now in this example the maximum element is simply 3 okay now can we have a sub array of length 5 because the n is 10 so n by 2 will be 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay so can we have the continuous five elements if we have continuous five elements then we can rotate those elements and bring them in the front okay so uh, this so eric just contain one single element that has no maximum element in this one this is just one single element in this one also this is just one single element but here we contain four continuous elements that does not contain a uh, maximum sub value maximum value three also this is connected to the front okay because if we rotate these four elements this will be connected with these two and it will become one 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 two two okay so that means the length is actually five the length is actually five this four and this one so do we have five elements and by two is five do we have at least five elements such that they are continuous okay and when we rotate them they will come to the first position so yes we do have five elements okay but we just have these five elements there are no more possible cases okay the only possible case here is to rotate these four elements to the front so that we get these five elements continuously in the first half fine so therefore in this case the answer is nothing but one okay let's see the next test case so let's see for these cases now uh, this is one sub array that does not contain maximum element three this is one sub array that does not contain maximum element three and this is one sub array which is connected to this array as well okay that does not contain the maximum element three okay now here we have eight one two three four five six seven eight so we need four length sub array minimum four length sub array to make n by two elements the first half which does not contain any maximum element so do we have this yes we do so it is one 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 correct so four of these ones will be just shifted if three ones are just shifted so we will get first four elements and that does not contain our maximum value so yes but these are just the four elements we cannot do anything else with this so just one is the answer now let's see the below case now in this case the maximum element is four so this is one just sub array this is another that does not contain four okay and we do not have anything else because there is no last element is four so this is zero and no connection is required now in this particular case what we have seen that this is obviously not possible for this to because n by two is nothing but five so we need at least five length now here do we have at least five length yes one two three four five six so we have in this case six length sub array that is capable of forming the first half without four fine so in this particular case what is the answer one no in this particular case the answer is two why we can rotate these elements okay we can rotate till this point these elements if we rotate these elements we get two one two two three four four one four okay so these five are n by two which does not contain four and if we rotate these whole now we will get two two one two two three four four one four so this half does not contain any value four okay so we get two choices now if the array sub array length is exactly equal to n by 2 that means we just have one choice now but if it is equal to n by 2 plus 1 that means we have two choice okay by going this if we create one more case of 2 here and 4 here in this particular case now do how many choices we have two elements are increased so 6 is n by 2 so till now also we have just two choices okay now if we have n by 2 plus 2 okay that means we have 7 length and we need just 5 length we have 7 length of sub array continuous sub array and we need just 5 length continuous sub array in that case the, our choice is increased by 2 okay so we have in now 3 choice okay one choice for exactly n by 2 and 2 more elements are provided to us for more choices so we have 3 choice similarly if we just 
generalize this what is this the total length of the subarray let let's say it is l okay minus the minimum we need that is n by 2 plus 1 that means the number of elements present in this range okay so total length present of our subarray for example this subarray the total length was 6 in this particular case okay needed was 5 so in total plus 1 how many elements we can have two elements okay the answer is nothing but the two k values okay so this is the first one and this is the second one fine we can rotate from this position and we can rotate from this position so we have to find out l minus n by 2 plus 1 so l is the nothing but the size of the sub array that does not contain 4 in it okay now if this value is at least n by 2 we will get the answer as 1 okay if it is n by 2 plus 1 we will get the answer as 2 and so on so this will directly give us these values this will directly give us these values so this, till now we have understood this point fine we have also been clear out that we need to find out the sizes of our different continuous sub arrays that does not contain 4 these two points are clear that we need to find out the sizes okay and we need to find out the continuous sub arrays and we need to find out the value of l minus n by 2 plus 1 for each and every size of the sub array fine fine so after this let's see one more case so let's apply the logic for this case the size is 1 okay minimum we need n by 2 is 5 okay and the size we got is 1 so it is 1 minus 5 plus 1 do we have enough elements no the answer is less than 0 so therefore this will not work now if we have 1 2 1 2 4 these many elements so how many elements we have we have 5 number of elements so we have 5 the length of the sub array 5 that we need plus 1 so yes we have one choice now in this case 4 2 and 1 is connected here so we have 3 the answer is nothing but 3 so in this case we have 3 minus 5 plus 1 so this is also uh, less than 0 so therefore this is also not possible okay so only possibility was 1 so therefore the answer is 1 now in this particular case we have the size as 2 we have the size as 1 then we have the size as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so in this case we have 7 because it is rotated correct so we have in this case the maximum length as 7 so for in the first case we can use the last case and the first case same because it is rotated so in this case we have 7 elements so 7 we need 5 plus 1 so how many choices we have it is nothing but 3 in total 3 choices we have in this case we have no choice because it is nothing but minus 5 so therefore it is less than 0 so we have no choice in this particular sub array case so in this question we have actually five three different choices to answer therefore the test case value was three okay now if we just see this one now this is a special case because the maximum element is same okay it is one only okay the, the all the elements are exactly same so it is one two three four five six how many six now we can rotate n minus one elements in this directly okay because k value cannot be equal to n so it is less than n so we can rotate n minus one elements in this and in all the possibilities okay we will simply get the answer is one 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 and nothing else in the first case in all the possibilities we will get this answer okay so this was just a special case because all the elements in this are exactly same there is no maximum value in this particular case all the elements are same fine so if he has to if he has to use the n by 2 elements find the first half of the elements he has to it okay so in that case 10 minus 1 will be shifted because k value cannot be exactly equal to n it will be less than equal to n less than n so n minus 1 elements we can shift one by one and in all the cases the first half will contain 1 1 1 only so these are all the cases i think you should have gotten the logic by now what we will be doing we will be counting the number of sub we will counting the size of each sub array that does not contain five and after that we will just put dot that size into our formula of l minus n by 2 plus 1 and we will add all the values okay now while we are adding all the values of l minus n by 2 plus 1 so this can become negative as well this we have seen already this can become negative as well okay so in this case we do not have to add anything so we will simply add 0 we will simply add if this becomes negative we will simply add 0 okay if this is greater than 0 then we will add its value fine so it will be nothing but the maximum we will be choose the maximum from l minus n by 2 plus 1 and 0 okay so if this is negative and so we will be adding 0 and if it is greater than 0 if it is positive then we will be adding that number 
okay so this is how we are going to approach the addition part and how we are going to count the survey is nothing we in inside an array inside a vector inside an array inside an array list whichever language you are using we for we will just have the size we will just count the size of the sub array not containing five so in this case we will add two we will add one and we will add one two three four five now since we are ending it with the count of five okay and the first count was two so they will be added so we will be simply updating it here seven and one okay now for seven and one we will be using another loop and calculating this value fine this is how we are going to approach this particular question and this i will be handling in a separate loop we will just check if all the elements are same the answer is at minus one okay so uh, just wanted to discuss one more point that in this case one 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 if all the elements are same uh, if you are printing n minus one the answer is getting accepted and if zero is also printed the answer is getting accepted that means if the maximum element we choose as the only element then in no case the first n by two will not contain this element because all the elements are the same so the answer logically should be zero okay and if i am printing n minus one also then also the answer is getting accepted and if this case is not handled okay then also the answer is getting accepted okay so we can ignore this particular case okay because it is not clear what to do with this case in the question okay so for n minus one it is accepted for zero also it will be accepted in that case also the answer is getting accepted okay if we are just ignoring this at all, we will be just ignoring it for now okay we will be not handling it inside the code fine we will just handle these cases and we will submit it and the answer is getting accepted if you are just ignoring this out that means if there is no if all the elements are same we are not considering that case okay so let's see the code for this now we are taking n inputs okay then array n is taken as input i am going from one base indexing okay now in this particular case we are getting the maximum element so after getting the maximum element creating a vector and uh, the count is zero now in this case i am just counting the number of sub arrays the size of the number of sub arrays and inserting them into the vector okay an array can also be used array list can be used for java so if array i is not equal to maximum element then count plus plus okay and as soon as it becomes equal to maximum element that count will be inserted inside our uh, data structure and the count will become zero again now if this is running and we will reach at the end okay so that last value will not be inserted because we will not go to else so we will come out and in that case if the count is not equal to zero we will simply add it to the size zero i, I explained to this that the size zero is added because they are circularly connected okay now after this result initial variable result i equal to zero to less than the size of the array that we just created i plus plus in this case just l minus size of i is was nothing but l l minus n by two plus one or zero we will be adding into our result and finally printing our result okay so this was the question of box of chocolates thank you